I mean, I was born here mostly. But other part normally we'll spend here will be Singapore and Australia. Oh. Because that's nearest to uh, Malaysia, yeah? And cheaper yeah. Yeah, to yeah. compare to uh, England. Back then, our uncles all used to go back to England. Uh. Study there or whatever. But it's too far. Town uh-huh. is too expensive. Yeah, yeah. And then Australia is British Commonwealth. So the education is recognized here. Uh-huh. Yeah, going up the complex. They are also building a cable car. So in the future, we just park at the bottom and then take cable car because normally when we bring like these tourists, they don't know, they're local tourists, they park their car down here. Uh-huh. And also the buses, we have to park here, the bus can't go up. So you have to walk 200 staircase just to reach the middle part. This area majority are Chinese. Been to China? No. No problem. Kazakhstan is close. Where we're headed. Tapi dia mau belajar ini banyak, dia kena ikut Cina, my guide, dia tahu banyak. Buka. Buka. Ha. 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 Okay, this is where the mom is, the mom quarters. Ah, the monks. Yes. Yeah. How many monks are living here? Oh, good question. Uh, it depends because uh, normally it's 100 plus, but it can go up to 300 when it's high season, like Chinese New Year or the uh, Buddhist festival. So the monks from other monastery will come. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's just like your uh, archbishop, deacons, like this. So you get that. They haven't finished yet with the roof. It's open 2009. Only five years they do it. Slow by slow, but every Chinese New Year they let you go up.
Persian, all the Iranian culture, or the Indian, especially the elephant god Ganesha. Mm -hmm. Swastika means prosperity, uh -huh. uh, happiness, mm -hmm. uh, a meaningful, purposeful uh, in life, you know. Mm -hmm. But I won't tell that to a Jewish person mm -hmm. because bad luck. When German was getting stronger. Uh, British uh, occupied India at that time, right? Not say occupied, they are British the ruling India. Mm -hmm. So the German, Himmler especially, was so bent on to prove that German are an older race than the Greece and the Romans. Mm -hmm. Because anything Europe back then was about the Greek, Roman, Greek, Roman, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. But Hitler knew he's talking nonsense because when the Romans were having empire and the Greece, a German was a small village on a river. It's okay, no problem. So then they came up with this theory, Himmler especially, mm -hmm. uh, that uh, the Atlantis was hit by a meteorite, mm -hmm. and the Atlantis race died mostly, and a few of them scattered to the highest point on the planet, like Himalaya. Mm -hmm. So his theory, those people were the Nepalis and the Tibetans. Mm -hmm. So he, they wrote to Chamberlain, Chamberlain the mm -hmm. former prime minister. For Winston Churchill, yeah, Chamberlain, Richard Chamberlain, mm -hmm. and said that they have an expedition because of the Atlantis thing, which they believe is connected to the German, this blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. Richard Chamberlain led them, and then um, when they reached there, you see, that place is special. People can live there 160 years old, 180 years old easily mm -hmm. because the oxygen is clean, you don't eat any nonsense food, all good, good food. Yeah. Some people call it Shangri-La. That's the name, the Shangri-La too, from a British writer. So when this team reached there, they saw swastika everywhere. They report to Himmler back in Germany, and they swam the swastika. Become Nazi. Yes. And then they start killing the Jiffy, the Jews, and everybody who don't have blue eyes and blonde hair. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's the real story behind it. Got it. It's not the swastika, it's nothing to be played. Yeah. Prosperity. Yeah, prosperity, that's right. The main thing. So when you meet your friend, please explain to them mm -hmm. the swastika is a victim of uh, wrong marketing. Mm -hmm. I wish the video could convey the smells that are amazing here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 